about twins and HCG in Dublin. I'm Dan, I'm the Chief Medical Advisor at Bird and Bee. So it is the embryo that implants that invades and that's releasing the HCG. So the HCG that we're picking up comes from that embryo as it burrows in and divides and implants. And so in theory, if we had two embryos or one embryo that's split and two embryos uh, pumping out HCG, we usually see the starting HCG level higher. And as we see that higher, we also see the rise getting higher and higher. So, you know, most of the time we put one embryo at a time. Sometimes in certain situations we'll do two. We have a pretty good idea at that first beta HCG and how it's rising, whether our gut feeling will say, ooh, I wonder if this is a twins, but really we won't know for sure until there's an ultrasound. A few things I wanna tell you about uh, twins. So there are different types of twins. There's identical twins. This is when one embryo splits into two. So same genetics, identical twins. And there's non-identical twins, which come from two different embryos. So if you put in one embryo in and you have twins, I mean, it only makes sense that one embryo splits and you have identical twins. If you put two embryos in and you have twins, probably you have non-identical twins because probably both of those took, although it's possible that one didn't and one didn't split. So with HCGs, I would say you can get a hunch, but you won't know for real or for sure till you do that ultrasound in about six or seven weeks time.